Hello and welcome to our Monday market updates. Today is April 3 and it's 6 14 pm. Major late update na din, pasensya na. Um, but uh, the good thing is that we are setting up into a really good bull pattern over here for not just Bitcoin but a lot of other coins as well. And I want you to see yung ating weekly chart for Bitcoin. And puti na lang nagising na ako ng late because hindi ko naabutan yung pagbagsak niya. I was actually expecting this to go down a little bit uh, here at this level. I mean, ideally, uh, i-retest niya itong 27 levels, this area over here. So I'm just gonna show you guys the lines. So itong area na to, I was expecting na uh, mag -re retest tayo dito, like either today or on Tuesday. But then, uh, like, this is the worst case scenario, right? We always need to be prepared for the worst case scenario, which is somewhere in the 24,700 levels to 25,300 levels. So this is kind of like, uh, if plan A fails, then that's the plan B. That's where you're gonna be um, ano ba? buying your Bitcoin. And what happened here is that mukhang nagtuloy na tayo. Uh, we're already creating that support over here. So, hindi pa naman tapos yung araw. So, marami pang pwede mangyari. But, I want you to look again at the weekly chart, which is pretty bullish if you ask me. Um, I'm a, I've been a momentum trader in PSE and this kind of pattern, itong dalawang to, that's kind of like a, what we call a consolidation, uh, sorry, a CV or a confirmation validation pattern. So, usually dalawang candles yan, um, or isa. Um, rare yung tatlo eh, but usually if it, happens na ganito yung itsura niya, it kind of like valid, uh, confirms a new support and then validates that uh, by if magbe-breakout tayo dito. So we still have to wait for that breakout if that happens but definitely our support has been confirmed. Um, you can see here na sumasakto naman sa ating mga ano, sa ating mga support areas. Like you can see that uh, little support na nakita natin dito and then now it's being validated over here. Ang kailangan lang natin hintayin is yung breakout. So, what are the other coins that I'm going to be looking at? Because, obviously, hindi ako masyadong heavy kay Bitcoin. I'm more heavy in other coins like Ethereum. So, I'm going to use the weekly chart here para lang mabawas-bawasan natin yung noise. Usually, kasi if you just look at the daily, uh, you would see that uh, consolidation over there, uh, which is pretty good because the tighter the consolidation or the longer a price level um, or the prices are at a certain range or a certain level pag nagkaroon ng breakout mas malakas yung move and so coming into April this is uh, very critical and I feel like okay guys feel so hindi siya ganun objective right um, if I were to be objective then I would also say na parang oh that is a bullish pattern we have our uh, moving averages below here that's on the weekly if I go to the daily as well, all our moving averages are below prices. We have an alignment over here. We have that retest na hinintay natin dito. So ito yung hinintay natin ano, bear trap na nangyari naman. Actually, isa lang sa mga scenarios, hindi naman tayo maghula. We were just saying na parang sana mag-retest, right? And then nangyari nga. Tapos tuloy-tuloy yung akyap, which we didn't expect. I was expecting na konting consolidate and then rally. And then afterwards, consolidate ulit and then break out. But... You know, the market does whatever it does, and what's important is that we act to, react to it accordingly. So, pag hindi kayo marunong mag-react sa market, if you just react out of your feelings, medyo delikado yun as a trader, as an investor. You need to make sure that aligned ka. Whatever the market gives you, you take. And so, yeah, Ethereum is the other one. And then we have, um, syempre Solana. Solana has a, like for me, sobrang bias ako with Solana because of uh, the community and also um, ano ba, the tech itself. I really like how they're doing things, but like aside from that, aside from the NFTs that I'm holding, if we go to the technicals, um, super, super, super tight consolidation over here. And then sobrang nagustuhan ko say that's like 100 MA. It's already at that level. Um, usually it just uh, tests that and then afterwards, umaakit na siya. So, sinasabayan niya. Medyo actually delikado to when you think about it. But if you look at it from a, from this kind of pattern, like an overall pattern, we're still at that bullish range or support area, which is pretty good if you're asking me. I actually loaded up on Sunday and bought um, various coins. So, isa si Solana because, yeah, favorite ko siya. <laughs> BNB um, is another one. BNB because 
while the market was been has been tanking for you know nung nag bear market tayo isa si BNB sa mga solid at saka yeah, Binance number one <laughs> I I cannot like remember how many times I always say that during the show uh, but yeah Binance and then I also have what else Taka, check ko nga yeah Matic how can I forget Matic Matic as well um, same as Binance a lot of other coins have been like tumbling down during the the bear but this one hindi masyado malaki yung binagsak niya eh. so talagang ano much much love for Matic even if let's say naglipat dito yung di, ano yan yung youths yung NFT na hawak hawak ko mm, not my not my favorite but like in terms of investing I mean investing uh, Matic is also in in my list it's still in a sideways pattern but um, like Sol you see that the 100 MA is already here uh, just waiting for for it to cross so if you're like the type of person who uh, wants to wait for that momentum to to come before buying then you might want to see that 114 levels uh, broken or if it closes above this level which is the 1.12 levels so again I didn't do that in the previous coins. Baka sabihin, ano, favorite. <laughs> My favorite is ako. But anyways, yeah, that's um, that's for Matic. I have also Aptos. Now, Aptos, Aptos 100 MA, same structure. Like, ito lagi yung gusto nating makita na parang nag, nagsasupport or nag-retest siya sa 100 MA. As you can see here, mas, mas suabi yung retest kasi here, hindi masyado nag-touch. Eh, dito, medyo nag-touch pa. Or nag-touch talaga siya tapos nag-react yung price dyan. So, pagka mga ganito, sobrang dali lang yung cut levels eh. Like, you can just sell if it closes at this level. Or, let's say, just set a conditional order na pagka nasagasaan yung area niya yun, sell ka na. So, I like patterns like these because uh, very clear yung support and resistance areas. If you are here as a momentum trader, you might want to just buy pagka nabasag yung 12.5 or yung 13 levels. But, yeah, for me, nakaposition na ako dito eh. Like, I'm, I'm more of a position trader and then medyo malalim yung cut ko. So there's that. I also have ano ba? Yung mga exotics. So I have OP. Um, OP. I already bought. Uh, Kaya naman ba? last Monday ako bumili. Eh. Eto to. So usually bumibili ako ng Monday mornings because usually Monday mornings or Tuesday mornings nagkakaroon jan ng uh, yun yung mga retest candles. Because that's the start of the new week. So what happens is that it shows uh, if you go to the weekly, jan siya magkakaroon ng week. And then afterwards, ayan, sana kung tuloy-tuloy na siya, di ba? But yeah, um, I'm still expecting, hopefully, no, na ano, um, mag-dip pa siya by Tuesday, pero konti na lang, and then tuloy-tuloy na siya by Wednesday. So usually, ganun yung uh, inaabangan ko. So if you can see here, ano ba yung mga mga days na talagang buwabagsak ito. Ito Monday, and then afterwards, the Tuesday, meron pa siyang retest afterwards, tumuloy na. So, same as the other cryptocurrencies that we've been discussing so far that 100 test over here and then hopefully hindi na yan bumagsak dito sa level na to so hopefully yan na yung retest na hinanap natin and then tutuloy-tuloy yan so OP and we have LDO as well LDO is uh, one of the stronger um, picks na I have so that 100 MA also being tested and then pwede mong ilagay yung stop mo dyan or if you want to be safe Ah, uh, yeah, pwedeng dito sa 2.04. Pero I don't think na abot pa dito. Pagka nandiyan na yan, medyo invalidated na yung setup natin. Um, yeah, LDO kasi ano na to eh, parang magtutuda. Pagka nag-breakout tong mga levels na to, we're gonna have to see ano, really good levels. Next is Arbitrum. Arbitrum, um bagong crypto. Uh, I put this into my liquidity swaps or liquidity farming kasi hindi ko alam baka bago pa lang siya nagte-trade uh, it might go in a sideways position and then I will just switch uh, more or buy more of this single token instead of like doing it into a liquidity farming pagka nabasag itong 1.45 or 1.5 levels so tingnan ko na lang muna I, I'm just gonna watch it and then I have Rune as well Rune ito yung stop loss ko dito 1.29 medyo malalim um, yeah and then lastly I think I have Ape Yes, ito. Ito yung isa sa pinakamalakas ko na... No, <laughs> oh, yeah. Ape is like the token for BC. For Bored Ape Yacht Club. Ayan. 
So, kita naman dito yung ating support, which is 3.79. Pag nabasag yan, game over. But overall, if you look at all the, you know, the crypto market as, as a whole, um, it's really making that bullish pattern. And so, you might want to be positioning into, you know, the cryptos that you're eyeing into. Baka mamaya tapos yung cons consolidations nila. And you really want to just um, ano ba, maximize the opportunity that crypto is giving you. Especially now that we're in a planting season. Kasi, ano ba, we were expecting May. So, it's be next month na by that time, bull market mag ano na to. Ano yan, parang next leg na for the bull market. But, yeah, we've been accumulating since October. Uh, naka DCA lang kami or dollar cost average on on uh, several tokens. Um, ano pa? Ay, kasama pa yung DOT. Yeah, DOT. So here one, here is another one. DOT at saka si KSM. So stop loss niyan is at this level 5.57. Again, we're just looking at the um, yung mga kinikreate na mga bagong support areas. So we're not like basing on the body but really dun talaga tayo so week nagbe base you know and also because that 100 MA is here as well so it's really aligning all of that stuff and usually yun sinasabi natin pag nagkakaroon tayo ng mga um, seminars or webinars pag nakita niyo yung 100 MA na nasa baba ng prices and you see that prices are reacting or staying above that level um, it's it's a really bullish sign ayan uh, for the other ones meron pa akong link eh yeah, meron akong link but really, this one has been just sideways. So, nakalagay lang talaga siya sa, ano, sa liquidity farming for me. I would uh, probably just add pag nakita ko yung mga clear breakouts from, from these levels before I want to add into my core positions. Kasi, ano eh, sayang naman kung, let's say, nagsa sideways lang siya tapos nagra-rally market, diba? You don't want that. You want to be positioned into leaders. I also have one. Uh, this is one of the, ano ba? One of the uh, exotics that I have. Um, kita nyo naman na nagre-react din siya dyan sa 100MA. Uh, but yeah, and then flow. Yeah, flow as well. Nag Nagsa sideways siya. Pero yeah, these are my position plays. These aren't like, you know, buying in the those trending markets or trending um, coins. Uni I also have, but sideways din yan. Uh, but ito yung isa sa mga nininote ko na malalakas na mga ano, na crypto. Pagka, let's say, nag-bull market. But so far, laggard itong mga to eh. Um, woo finance hindi ko pa nababalikan to eh hindi ko pa nahirapan akong mag-entry dito hindi ko nasakyan ng maayos so hopefully baka mamaya mag-momentum entry ako dito but yeah this is another one that I'm looking into I'm waiting for that 100ME baka on the next cycle na lang siguro or baka Tuesday tingnan, tingnan ko na lang um, yeah so far ito yung mga tokens that I've been eyeing on actually marami pa yan eh um, some of these tinitrade ko sa DEX like for example si Dust Ito, this is the D Gods token. What ape is to basi? Um, what else? Si Bonk. Ito, isa pa to. Na nilalagay ko sa liquidity. So, um, kaya, din trade ko lang. I mean, naka ano lang to sa ano eh, sa Camino Finance or sa Orca. Hook, I'm also looking into it, but not much. Mm, ito din isa sa mga nilist ni Binance eh. But I'm gonna be waiting for um, proper breakouts, key levels to be breaking out before getting into it. Pero yeah, it's one of the bets as well. Pagka ano, pag si Binance yung naglist, tinitingnan ko talaga kasi parang halos, parang ano, manihan. Sobrang solid kasi ng research team nila. So, malabo na ano, na it's a bad project. Uh, what else? FTM? FTM then. I want to see more consolidation before... I buy. Hopefully, pagka nag, ano, nag retest ulit malapit yung 100 MA and then bibili ulit ako. Um, yeah. For my, sa mga nagtatanong dun sa Maya, so I'm gonna post this as well for the album cover. Or sa, yeah. It's 197,000 na. Um, ano ba? 200,000 yung ating uh, total capital na pinasok dito. Originally, dapat like, I should be putting like monthly uh, on my budget. Tapos hanggang sa umabot ako sa 200k. But nag advance na ako. I think two months ago. In advance ko na nilagay ko ng 200,000 para masimulan ko na yung, yung album. I wanted to create this uh, album wherein uh, parang nire-raise ko yung mga investments ko. So I'm kind of like raising this crypto uh, portfolio uh, under Maya. So sa mga nagtatanong, this is under Maya. But I do not recommend Maya if ever if ever uh, you're gonna get into crypto. I don't, I don't, I really won't recommend any like 
ano ba? Other exchanges aside from Binance. This is not a paid ad or a sponsored ad. Like it's just because gusto ko yung liquidity in Binance. But if you want to go and check other uh, exchanges na maganda din yung let's say mga offers especially pag meron sila mga um, tokens na bagong launch, you can look into Gate and also ano ba? KuCoin. So I'm going to post those ano uh, links where you can um, open accounts if you want to and using our F link so you can save up on fees. Pero ayun yung mga ano, yun yung mga exchanges na ni recommend ko. Um, hindi naman sa hindi ko gusto i-support yung local natin na let's say ano ba, liquidity providers, it's just that um, superior kasi yung technology or superior yung liquidity and lesser yung fees na binibigay nila compared to uh, their ano, arc yung mga counterparts nila dito sa Pilipinas. So ayun, uh, that's it for my my update. I'm currently I'm just heavy on NFTs. Um, recently, ano ba yung mga pinasa ko NFTs? Teka, pag tayo Magic Eden. So, oh, in the world of Solana, not that. Magic Eden. Ito, ito, ito. So recently, I've been buying some NFTs because uh, it's quite interesting na merong mga certain projects na pinasa ko. So it, this is kind of like my blue chip fund. Um, usually, it's long term yung um, approach ko dito. Sa ibang accounts, meron akong mga iba't ibang uh, moonshot accounts. So, these are like uh, NFTs na tingin ko may potential pero might, you know, might not be that solid of a team. But yeah, sometimes itong mga NFTs na to, medyo mahal na. But I'm more of a buy high, sell higher person or trend follower talaga. I go where the money is. And so, if you're into NFTs, looking into getting into Solana NFTs, I would recommend looking into these NFTs like Lily, Famous Fox. Um, yeah, Lily, Famous Fox, Smiths. Ito yung mga builders. Sharky, mm, okay lang. Okay lang kasi ano to eh. Dito ako gumagamit or usually nag, ano ba. Uh, this is where I do my loans. Um, ang ginagawa ako, nagpapautang ako ng Solana to people and then if hindi nila mabayaran yung kanilang um, utang then I get their NFT as collateral so I use Sharky that's their service there uh, so, sobrang solid na service there are other uh, platforms as well that are offering the, a similar service uh, like for example Famous Fox Federation they have Citrus so Sa Famous Fox, they have like 7-day loans, they have 14-day loans, 16-day loans. With FFF or Famous Fox, they offer kind of like, um, ayan, I'm just gonna show you guys. Para makita nyo. Pero hindi ko siya masyado nagagamit eh. Mas nasanay kasi ako with Sharky, but uh, sobrang solid if like you have um, Famous Fox Federation or let's say Transdimensional if you want these NFTs or if you want like Klinosaurus. Um, what else? Yung mga popular collections na nandito, pwede kayong mag-offer and then you can offer it for let's say 3 days. So normally, if you if you go to other lending platforms, it, it kind of like does 7 days, 14 days. Meron din silang 21 days but like I don't re- really recommend this because a lot can happen in 21 days. Um, yeah, baka mamaya hindi magbayad yung ano, di ba? So it's better na se- tig sa 7 days na lang para safe ka. Ito, mukhang hindi magbabayad yung client dito. I have not really seen people well I haven't really tried and I haven't seen the data to to make assumptions I know but I guess what's exciting here is that you can do um, three-day loans and then you can um, an tawag nito? Parang customize like what is the interest do you want it 120 gusto mo 240 Siyempre, gusto mo yung 240 diba? Mas malaki. but on the person who's gonna be borrowing your Solana Siyempre, gusto nila yung lower na interest so yun yung kailangan mong silipin dito. So, ayan. Ito yung mga, ito yung mga ginagawa. FFF, solid team. They've been just building during the bear market. And, ang ganda ng ano nila, ng platform nila. I would say. I mean, not platform, like, uh, the whole ecosystem. So, this is might, this might be something that you want to be looking into. Especially if you're looking into long term. You want to do safe bets. Yan. So, Famous Fox, uh, Smiths, ito yung mga solid teams. Um, Lotus Gang is part of Lily as well. So these are kind of like my second liners. Sin Elixir, Sharky, and then this is um, more like a moonshot. Si the Bastards. 
So if you can see here, she's my pinakamalaki kong allocation, uh, just because sobrang promising ng team or nang gusto nilang gawin. But syempre naka naka set pa rin yung stop loss natin dito. Like if bumalik to ng mga 6 or 7, magka-cut loss ako dito kahit na malaki yung magiging lugi ko. Um, but it's quite new. Bago lang to na nag-launch. And I actually want to be getting into Ugis, but I just can't get into Ugis because for some reason, taka, sana ba yung isa? Ato, to, to, to. So I'm waiting for a reveal dump. Pagka usually nagkakaroon ng reveal yung isang collection, bumabagsak yung price. And I'm waiting for Ugis to do just that. But right now, it's just pumping like crazy. People, you know, money is just flowing here. And I suspect, or people are suspecting, it's because of the D-Gods uh, youth's um, community. Na, syempre, like, these these guys are having that similar DNA, similar culture. And so having that same vibe kind of gives or attracts that kind of money as well. And very tribal din kasi minsan yung, ano, yung nasa ecosystem, like, Uh, if you're part of our ecosystem, we're gonna support you. So, ganong level sila. So, yeah, that's for Ugi. Bastards, ito. Para makita nyo na lang. So, here you go. Uh, yeah, bago pa lang siya. Tapos, nagkaroon sila ng airdrop eh, recently. They had like a uh, whiskey NFT na they, they dropped for certain um, holders. Uh, tapos, we do have Clinosaur. This one... Yeah, it's obviously a blue chip as well. Na umabot na to ng 100 kanina eh. Um, the only thing that I kind of like have a problem with is that it's not uh, PFP-able. <laughs> Or hindi siya pwedeng ma-profile ma photo if you want to, to do that. Kasi it's like a dinosaur, right? But yeah, like you can't really hate on them because they're just delivering their stuff. Um, but I think what's evident here right now, what I'm showing you guys is that even in NFTs, It's evident that money is flowing here, and there's already a bull run happening. So you might want to be looking into this because, um, parang katulad lang din ng ano ng crypto na ano magsisimula palang yung bull market. Tapos pagka ano nagliparan yung let's say crypto alin ba o sala na lumipad tapos lumipad din yung crypto mo di parang double yung kita mo. Um, so yeah, next time I'll try to go in depth about these things. Um, I'm gonna do another update or another video to just deep dive in some of the uh, projects that I'm looking at. Um, right now, I think I'm lang siguro yung cover ko. Just really, ano, diversify, especially in this kind of market because um, yeah, the opportunity is already here. Uh, we already have siguro yeah last month, next month. And then for sure, yan meron na talaga tayong makakita ng big moves. But like I suspect, even in this uh, month, magkakaroon na tayo ng ano, ng move as early as this month. If you look at BTC in itself, itong candle na to from the last month is already that kind of like confirmation na hey, you know what? There's momentum happening in 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 the space. So you might want to look into it, especially if if hindi pa kasi masadong umagalaw eh compared to Bitcoin. But definitely. All that liquidity from these major crypto is gonna uh, go into our altcoins. So ayun, just keep your eyes peeled and then make sure that you position well. Ayun lang siguro for that update. Thank you very much for listening. Hope to hope that this helps you and sana mga position kayo because sayang kung maiwan kayo guys. Ayun. So bye bye. See you in the next update.